food is on the grill, the smoke smells in my clothes, that means it's time for me to get some liquid hop happiness to pour down my neck. And where are we going to go to find said liquid hop happiness today? We're going to go to Treehouse Brewing Company out of Monson, Massachusetts, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer are we going to have from them? One of my favorites. That's right, Julius. That's right. You've seen me review this before. You will recall it's an American IPA. It's a rotating, actually, now year-round serving. It clocks in at 6.8% ABV and between 45 and 70 IBUs. This is the beer that they use. 3.5 pounds of American hops per barrel. That also works out to 1.6 ounces per gallon. That's a lot of freaking hops. And you will recall last time I reviewed this beer, I gave it a 100. It was perfection. It was the best hop juice I had poured down my neck in a long time. And you're saying, DJ, this beer is not distributed around... You know, you're in heck of the woods in Maryland. Who hooked you up with this? Well, my good buddy David, 1021 Brewing, hooked me up with this. Thanks a million for sending it up, my brother. This, as well as the others you sent me, have been awesome brews. Between you and um, Joe at Joe's Arcade have kept me supplied with the awesome treehouse hooch. So, one thing J Dave did mention, now that they have, as you will see, the commercial can printed as opposed to the labeled can for Julius before. He said he detected a little bit of difference in the beer. Wanted me to review it again. No problem at all. I was just going to pour it down my neck, but I will review it again because re-reviews are fun and I thought I would never have a chance to re-review this beer. So, let's stop flat my gums, crack the top on this biatch and get in the can. Hell yes. Ah, nice crack off the top. And let's get it in the glass. Ah ha ha, it's still that hazy beast that I remember last time. And it's, you know, I just got back from my trip from Mexico. Dave sent me this awesome beer mail. I'm really still pretty hop starved compared to what I was uh, getting down in Mexico. So let's see what the appearance is like if it's about the same. Hell yes. It actually maybe be a slightly little bit darker, but whatever. It's a super hazy. You cannot see anything through it. Nothing, no light passing through it. It's, it's stout level opa opaque orange color just like the can suggests the darker orange on there that's basically the color of this beer super solid one finger head of very tightly packed khaki bubbles when i swirl it yeah we're gonna get the glass lacing again and we're getting some alcohol legs too it's 6.8 percent we're right at that threshold but take a look at that beer that's a gorgeous beer in the glass so let's see what's up with the aroma of julius big tropical fruit bomb up in your grill orange mango papaya mm, peach it's so this is such a juicy beer man when you smell it it just attacks your nostrils and you're like damn i want to drink this a bit of pineapple in there there's i i'm detecting more maybe dankness this time i don't recall it being this dank smelling but man i'm i'm down with dank beers but a little more dankness this go no alcohol in the aroma but it's all about the citrus mango peach papaya pineapple of uh, maybe a slight slight bit of pine in the background no alcohol like i say in the aroma but man it just smells delicious just like last time and the difference i'm remember i'm getting out is a bit more dankness eh, fine with me let's dive in cheers thanks a million dave you rock brother <laughs> damn it's it's yeah, it's Julius. Orange, mango, papaya. I'm actually getting more peachiness this time. I'm not sure the freshness of this can. Doesn't seem to matter because this tastes like freaking awesome hop juice. It's all juicy. The bitterness is totally in check. There's enough sweetness to balance it all out. But this beer, like just like the last time I reviewed it, and just like Green and Curiosity 15, and even the Eureka with Citra, it's all about hops manipulating hops so they just taste freaking delicious damn mm. i drink this beer any day of the week this is even a beer wow that peach and mango note are really growing and you get this orange juiciness and like tangerine juiciness in there and i was kind of saying this is a beer you could even introduce a newbie hop person to because it's not bitter it, I mean, there's bitterness there to balance it all out. It's not cloyingly sweet or any bullshit like that. But it's just a freaking showcase of tropical, citrus, juicy, just freaking delicious hops, man, from front to back. And there's 
they're a little bit more, I'm detecting like in the aroma, a little bit more like perceptible dankness this time than I did last time, but it's not like an off-putting dankness or a big like dank bomb or anything like that, like, like smells like Freedom was from DC Brow, but wow. This beer is just well made. I'm not, the differences I'm detecting in this is I've gotten more or maybe picked out some different flavor notes this time. But that doesn't mean I like it any different or any more or less, you know, that kind of thing. It's just I'm getting more out of it, like different flavors. And the flavors are all awesome. <laughs> I'm just picking out different ones. Let me taste it out of the can and see if there's any difference in that because sometimes you get that. You know, I think I prefer this beer out of the glass, letting it open up more. Out of the can, it's actually more citrusy, and I'm getting less of the overall tropical fruit blast. The glass, I think, when you open up, you let the head, you know, di you know, rise and fall. I think that releases some more of the aromas and the flavors. And this beer is all about aroma and that. So you hear me geeking out. I'm digging this beer. What do we grade it? Right beer gives it boom 100. Beer advocate boom 100. DJ last time I reviewed this gave it boom 100, and I'm still giving it a freaking 100. I still dig the hell out of this beer. It's still freaking awesome. I'm still mega grateful to Dave or Joe or anybody who sends me anything from Treehouse. You know, I'm just super thankful because I can't get it and humbled by your generosity. This beer just rocks. So I gave it a 100. Have you had this beer? More people are getting it now because it's more of a commercial product. <sighs> Let me know what you think. I like the quid pro quo and the back and forth because I don't know everything and I like to know what you know. I also like it when you think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. So brewers like Treehouse will keep coming up with awesome riffs on a style and making it better, advancing the craft beer movement, and keeping the variety and the new flavors coming. So to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks a million to each and every one of you, especially you, Dave, for sending me this awesome brew. And also, thank you a million for rating, commenting, subscribing, especially if this is your first time with us, and smashing that like button. So to the next DJ's Brew Tube, I got nothing but a big bunch of Julius drinking love for you. And you know what's coming? Are you ready for it? Hell yeah! I'll be, I'll be